Well, guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I put this out at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time on a Friday night where I usually do my live stream. So I know y'all are wondering what's going on. There won't be a live stream tonight because I'll be, uh, by the time you're looking at this, I'm out there doing the job. So I apologize, and like I said, I'll make it up to you at another time. But, uh, this right here is a story of survival. It's the story of uh, shocking footage. It's also a story of this lady right here. Her name is Anissa Tenen. She's from Albuquerque, New Mexico. This woman is my hero. I'm going to tell you why. This woman endured a night of terror by this man right here. This piece of crap is Joseph Rivera. He's 30 something years old. And uh, this guy was escaping in a stolen car from somewhere else. Spike strips crashed his car. So what does he do? He goes on a run, jumps in somebody's yard and winds up in this lady's house. Now, what happened is unfortunate, you know, to, you know, the ordeal this woman had to go through. But she did all the right things. And I want you guys to pay attention to how smart she was. And uh, it has a positive outcome. Take a look. A woman enjoying the evening with her four-year-old granddaughter when she comes face to face with a criminal trying to get away from police. New video tonight and 911 calls show the woman's fast thinking to get him out of her home. But when he broke in a second time, she was ready with her gun and shot him. Tonight, her story. Get back! Get back! I have a gun! Get back! Get back! That's Anissa Tenen heard on a 911 call after this man confronted her. Just 10 minutes earlier, she was singing and dancing to the Taylor Swift movie with her four-year-old granddaughter. While down the street, chaos unfolded. Police say they spotted 32-year-old Joseph Rivera in a stolen car last month around 9.30 in the evening near Candelaria and Rio Grande. Spike strips caused him to crash, but he took off on foot down Candelaria, hopping a fence into Tenon's yard. The family's ring camera captures his every move. Here you see him walking into the home. I jumped over this couch and went towards him and we met right, basically right there in the front door. That's when he grabbed me and was upset and said to give me my keys, but he um, didn't want to go to jail. He did threaten to hurt um, my granddaughter and I. Tenen tries to calm him down. As we were walking, I put my hands on him to say, like, to try to be calming and like, tell me what your name is. Tell me where you're from. The intruder wants her keys. As she looks for her keys, she also dials 911. 911 emergency. Leaving the line open. Okay, let's go outside. You can hear Tenon in the background trying everything to get him to leave. To not hurt us, that I would do whatever he wanted. I would give him keys, money, whatever it took. Rivetta finally grabs a key fob and heads to her car. This guy came into my house. I'm trying to take my car. Please help me. Then really tough moments with her four-year-old granddaughter, telling her to stay in her bedroom. I need you to be really brave, so I know, okay? I you know I gotta go. You stay right here and I have bedroom, okay? It's okay, baby. I know, honey. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Tenen grabs her gun to check if he has left, but he hasn't. You can hear sirens. Police are closing in. I kept asking him if he had a gun. You can hear Rivetta banging on the door. Then he kicks in the door. I'm back here and he's coming at me down the hallway this way and he's walking at a fast pace. Get back! Get back! I have a gun! Get back! Get back! I will what did you do? I knew I was the only thing between me and my granddaughter. Tenen then tells the suspect she'll help him. I will get 
give you water, but if you hurt me, I'm going to shoot you again. And I held pressure on his wound. This woman, who did everything she could to protect her granddaughter, turns her attention now to the man who just moments before threatened her. God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Tenen begs the dispatcher for help. Oh, God, this is not happening. Where are the police? Hey, please step in. Albuquerque, please. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Minutes later, officers move in, dragging Rivetta out. I do believe we had a guardian angel here with us, and I, I do firmly believe that God was watching over us. Rivetta is now facing a long list of charges on top of his lengthy rap sheet. I would like for him to be held to the fullest extent. I absolutely do not want the DA's office giving him a plea deal. He belongs in jail. Tenen's granddaughter is struggling from that night. Megan is her mother. She's scared of the dark and not like normal four-year-olds. Um, she won't walk down the hallways that are dark by herself. Um, when a four-year-old is asking you if the doors are locked at night and if the alarm is set, I'm just so proud of Anissa. It couldn't have played out better given the circumstances, and it could have been a lot worse. And I think that when you're faced with a decision of protecting your family, you do what you have to do. Rivetta was back in court today where a judge finally ordered him to remain behind bars. Rivetta had a warrant out for his arrest after police say in July he was found passed out in a stolen car. But even with five previous felony convictions, a judge released him days later. Then he failed to appear in court. He was arrested again in September and released again. He didn't appear in court in October, yet when he was arrested, he was released again. He has been on the run since and now faces more burglary and car theft charges. Judge Joseph Montano ordered Rivetta to stay behind bars. All right, guys, that's the story of uh, Joseph Rivera. Typical a-hole mess he did. And uh, Anissa Tenen with her quick thinking and being calm under pressure. She confronted this man when he first came in the house, making a barrier between her and her four-year-old granddaughter. She's there by herself. That's a tall dude. Came in the house. She put her hands on him. She tried to comfort him like females do. She didn't scream, fall out, act weak, or none of that stuff. She was thinking quick. Gave the man what he wanted. He left up out the house. Police coming. What do you do? Walk back in the house because the encounter with her was so passive. He felt as though he could buy time being in that house. Anything can happen. And she was prepared. She called 911 while he was there and let the phone just run. That's a lesson for a lot of you ladies out there. A lot of you people going through conflict. Just let the phone run. Sometimes clues can be, you know, given through the confrontation or encounter you have with an assailant. You came back in there. She made a what? A barrier between her and the child again. Lock the door. He kicks the door in. You know what I'm saying? Now she's standing there in the hallway, that little runway. I will shoot you. Stop. He gonna walk like, oh, you ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't got no gun. What happened? What'd you hear? Pop. Ah! Dumbass. Wish it was me. You wouldn't have heard nothing. It's all the red dot of his head right off his shoulders. Seriously. People got some balls, man, to just come up in your crib and just do what they gonna do. And that's why I tell you ladies and stuff, that a lot of y'all out there that find comfort in living by yourself, you better have something that'll keep you safe. Whether it's a ring doorbell camera, or a, a firearm, especially in your home. Nowadays, look at the news. People are busting up pe in people's houses like it's nothing. People are stealing people's houses. Look at the squatter situation in New York, Detroit, uh, Atlanta, other places. People ain't playing around. What you have is your own personal space and fortress of solitude means nothing to these people when they want to get in there. And your life means nothing when they want to take it. She lucky, this guy, Joseph Rivera, was lucky that this woman had a heart because some of us don't. And I'm telling you, guys, we think differently than women do. We're wired differently. In my head, I'd have been like, out of all the houses you came in, you came in mine. 
Oh, you must think I'm weak. That's how I think. Oh, okay. You must think I'm weak. I got you. Soon as he came in there, you know what I mean? Most men, it would have been on like hot butter popcorn. We'd have been fighting to the death. You just walk up in somebody. He didn't know if it was a man in there or not. Then when he realized it wasn't a man in there, he came right back. If it was a man in there, he would have never doubled back and came back in that house. He'd have never doubled back and came back in that house. First of all, you was caught sleeping in a uh, stolen car prior to this. So you and stolen cars got a thing going. Stolen car, they stop him. He get up the car, just run up in somebody's house. Give me your keys. I'll kill you. I'll hurt your granddaughter. What? Soon as he kicked in the door, I'd have gave him the full clip. See how dumb he was looking in, 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 uh, in, in, in court? Making a sad face like, like, like they doing something to him. What did the lady say? Oh, I hope he gets the full extent of the law. No, he needs the full extent of a casket. If he can afford none. If not, dig a hole and throw his dumb ass in it. Man, people got a hell of a nerve to go in and infringe the, on the rights of people. A lot of people, like I told you, need to be sown the flowers. And this guy right here, Joseph Rivera, is a perfect example of that. Perfect example. Only thing good about this whole situation, Albuquerque and New Mexico, period, be giving out lengthy prison sentence. That's where his dumb ass belongs. You need to stay there or the bottom of the ocean to do just fine. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like I said, massive props to Anissa Tenen. Salute. A lot can be learned from this situation. This is a good story to uh, watch. Now, I'm sorry that this went through. You know, they went through this, and our four year old daughter has a little bit of PTSD, but hopefully they'll be all right and be able to move forward. But her having that gun saved her life, I think. See you in the next video. Take care.